Hello everybody, welcome to another little of gaming news and all that good stuff and as always I also publish on Rumble, I'm on Twitter tweeting stuff from time to time and extra support can be on Patreon, PayPal, all this uh, stuff, links in the description. So, not a lot of stuff uh, happening, um, there were some uh, announcements on the, there is a conference happening, uh, tech conference I think, and Mr. Uh, Jensen Wang, or I think it's uh, how you pronounce it, uh, made some new announcements, uh, especially from the... Um, I think this is going to be for AI stuff here, so professional uh, GPUs that cost a lot of money. And uh, it's interesting that the uh, naming scheme is completely different. Um, <laughs> I don't know to a certain degree why um, I, I think they could do a little bit better there uh, but this is a completely different market so the naming scheme uh, of course is going to be completely different um, as you can see here they really don't mind putting some uh, VRAM here of course they it's uh, this kind of professional applications and especially AI they will need also a lot of um, a lot of VRAM uh, but as you can see here they are not uh, getting away uh, or they are not shying away per se of uh, putting some uh, VRAM there which is uh, it's a shame for uh, the, the uh, for our uh, DIY market in terms of GPUs um, also the fact that the, 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 the new announcements especially the, the RTX uh, 6000, of course, everything is still from Ada Lovelace te uh, technology uh, or uh, manufacturing process. Um, as you can see, the, 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 even the, the 5000 seems a little bit, uh, in terms of CUDA cores and everything, uh, seems a, a little bit lower than the 4090, uh, which is here from Tech Power Up. Usually it's around uh, 16,000, uh, give or take. And of course, the 6000 ADA, it says, I think it has all the, the um, die completely unlocked. Uh, so, in terms of CUDA cores, and this, of course, I think gives the uh, shaders uh, thing here. I think you sum up, I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Uh, you can get to this uh, cores number here. Uh, that's why it's, uh, I think it's 12,000 and 100 plus the four, uh, 400 will, will give the, 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 the number of cores in here. It's already uh, uh, added up here. Um, as you can see, the 6000, uh, it's like the full die, completely good here. So I think we will not see uh, more than this, unless it has like versions with uh, extra boost clocks or memories or something like that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the, the, they don't shy away with giving um, a lot of uh, VRAM here. It, it, it's uh, a little bit embarrassing for the DOI market, but yeah, but this is it. Uh, so uh, they are expensive, uh, but it's one of those interesting things that caught my eye is the fact that uh, of course uh, the DIY market uh, is always going to be in the bottom uh, of in terms of priorities of uh, like ties and everything uh, so always uh, have this in mind that we are not the main market for uh, any of these uh, kind of companies um, but uh, it's uh, it's funny that the, the the in terms of the like the CUDA cores and everything and unlock ties and basically we get the flawed chips per se so they had to act deactivate the CUDA cores um, because like usually it's uh, manufacturing defects uh, because not all wafers are made equal and the yield stuff uh, I think when they say a yield of X amount it's the yield that they want for that die being fully unlocked and perfectly manufactured so the, the dice that are not in that yield supposedly they get downgraded to a certain degree and usually that those uh, remainings go to the DIY market GPU stuff which is us uh, which is okay I understand in terms of uh, business wise perspective but uh, it's one of those things that uh, caught my interest in. and basically here uh, I think the message is the more you buy the more you save uh, it's the new mantra from Nvidia regarding this AI uh, kind of uh, GPUs and uh, talking about that uh, <laughs> Uh, I've been seeing some rumblings that we might come to a shortage. Um, some of them predict maybe uh, throughout this year we might see some shortages. Uh, shortages, sorry, uh, mainly because of the, the high demand of uh, AI GPUs, and then of course similar to a certain extent of the crypto mining stuff. Um, we might see that they're, they're going not going to be a, a huge availability because Nvidia doesn't make their own chips, so they uh, have to outsource that to 
TSMC, and they are not the, the biggest uh, client there. They're like fifth or something like that. You got they got Apple, MediaTek, and uh, a few others there that I forget the name. They are like between the fourth or the fifth uh, biggest uh, uh, um, client there for in terms of fabs. Um, and when you have, don't have control on your pr manufacturing process uh, to a certain extent in terms of uh, output, uh, we might see some uh, shortages there, which by extent the, it will trickle down to the consumer because from uh, like, uh, I don't know, freelancers, somebody has like a project they want to do in AI uh, or like some even smaller companies that want to use uh, AI for whatever. Uh, they might have not uh, or the sufficient amount of money to do or budget to do so and they will go for the DOI market because GPUs are pretty good and doing I think it's parallel computing which is uh, excellent for uh, AI from what I understand and that will go for the DOI market also the, the main issue with this is uh, ap this happening uh, the I don't see uh, being like short-lived per se, which is uh, because there was to a certain extent the, a deadline, uh, especially on the crypto mining with the, uh, I forget the coin, um, Ethereum, I think it was Ethereum mining, they, they, they had like a, a deadline for mining. Uh, so after that date, the mining was not profitable. And then when we start uh, starting to see a lot of flooding on the uh, secondhand uh, GPU market, uh, regarding uh, those uh, GPUs here because it's part of a business model so you it's more like an investment and you can then uh, profit for that investment if this uh, happening and some predictions say that uh, could come around this year um, we might see a longer shortage if that happens uh, mainly because of for, in this case nvidia amd also because they are entering uh, on that race they are they are wrapping up uh, all of that even though they are also not uh, they don't do the same chip they have also dependent on tsmc uh, allocation uh, in terms of production uh, we might see some shortages, especially on high-end uh, GPUs. Uh, and then with the fact that AMD, uh, the rumors maintain that they are not uh, for the next gen, the, 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 the Navi 40 series, they um, supposedly still are, uh, confirms that they are cancelled the, the high-end uh, dies. It's going to be a tricky market, so I will not give you, I'm not telling you to buy now or something like that, because uh, until we see some real shortages happening, we uh, prices can go down a little bit more. Uh, they might start ramping up uh, a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a speculator here. I'm not on the market itself. I'm not an insider with this kind of information. Uh, but uh, if you are, uh, I think if you are uh, pleased with the, the, the in this case GPUs with the, the performance um, and you think that you can at least this is like my personal advice I, if in my case if I have a, a, a PC and I have a GPU that I use for gaming productivity whatever it is if I'm pretty satisfied with it and I know that I'm going to not going to basically need to uh, upgrade urgently in the next year or so uh, I might wait because uh, there is uh, an, uh, other players that are going to enter in the market uh, for, in one year, like Intel with their battle match stuff. They have their own uh, fabs there, so they can control to a certain extent um, what they can output there. Um, so the priorities are a little bit different from uh, the, the, the other two, and uh, AMD and Nvidia. Um, but, we, but we don't know because the, the things are not on the market now. Um, but yeah, uh, if you have a, an older uh, GPU and you f and you feel the need that you need to upgrade in the next, I don't know, six years, I will start. Uh, I will, for me, I will start uh, checking GPUs that will not uh, uh, that your system will not be bottlenecked, uh, will not bottleneck the GPU. Sorry. Um, Maybe start seeing, uh, mark some price tags. I think PC Part Picker have some price alerts there. Uh, and start seeing like the average prices and start studying which kind of GPUs you're thinking that will be good for your case and see if uh, by any chance you have like an excellent deal 
sometimes the the 7900 XTX, uh, the XT sometimes, and even the 4080s or uh, the 4070 Ti, sometimes they have some deals there that they, they lower like between 100 to 200 dollars. I think possibly it's a good deal to to take and uh, preemptively to a certain degree um, get the, a GPU on that on those conditions uh, because at MSRP the, even though we might see some shortages uh, it's too expensive at least for my uh, personal uh, preferences here um, but yeah uh, it's it's it might get a little bit tricky by the end of this year regarding GPU stuff uh, but yeah it, it's just a warning so keep your eyes uh, peeled up uh, if you're uh, think you're in need to buy a GPU uh, or upgrade your GPU in the next year or so uh, start uh, putting some tags on on some gpus that uh, interest you and uh, check their prices any alterations and probably um, do some uh, if you see like a big uh, huge deal on a gpu that you think you, you want you want to buy um i'm not saying you to buy but uh, i don't want to put myself in in other people's shoes uh, but it, if it was for me and i think i need to buy a new gpu i will start saving the money just in case and if i see like a, a good deal on the gpu that i think that i want uh, i might go for it uh, but yeah it, it it is what it is uh, but uh, this is my advice at the moment at least from my perspective uh, regarding more gpus we got uh, more amd kind of news per se uh, asrock listed uh, some uh, gpus with the uh, it can, uh, uh, you, uh, you know, Asian uh, kind of thing. Uh, I forgot to highlight where it is. It. Oh my laptop! It's getting so slow. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, the 7800 XT and the 7700 XT. Oh boy. Sorry. Uh, my laptop is lagging here. Um, they, they they register there. It's on the uh, trade commissions. I think it's called the uh, trade commissions. Um, uh, Europe, Euro Asian, whatever it is, uh, thing. It's it's a normal stuff here, um, and we can get kind of the confirmation at least that the 7700 XT should have like 12 uh, gigabytes of VRAM, and uh, the 7800 uh, again uh, confirm, uh, confirmed again that ha will have 16 gigabytes, uh, supposedly all the versions, and we have uh, to a certain extent a little bit uh, better idea how uh, the 7700 XT is uh, probably going to work. We don't have still like GPU, uh, uh, the compute unit stuff, uh, and of course the um, the thing from the stream processors and any kind of clocks here uh, but it might gives us a rough estimate of how it should handle i think we should see like between 40 something to uh, probably 50 compute units here it's, uh, it's not good this is not going to be a good launch uh, mainly because of how you see the the, the display here i think the it's the naming scheme. It's completely wrong in terms of uh, performance-wise. You see a huge gap between the 7900 XT to the 7800 XT. You got the GRE in the middle, but it's not international market. It's for system integrators in the, in the general market. Uh, but as you can see, there is a huge gap here, um, which is not good. I don't know what could be done here, uh, but uh, yeah, the naming scheme is not good. I think this should have saved uh, this one like the XT, this should be the 7800 XTX, some some kind of thing here, and maybe lo lower a little bit of the compute units, I don't know, I'm not sure, it's a, it's a little bit tricky, uh, the naming scheme, but by the end of the day it's a matter of pricing, uh, we shall see how they, they perform when the reviews come out, uh, if I have a and um, how they compare itself to the competition to a certain degree uh, hope they, they are priced uh, pretty decently uh, so you can have like a middle range uh, kind of a situation here to be more healthy uh, than what it is uh, because the 4070 uh, it's a good performer but it's way overpriced and of course the 4060 Ti 12 uh, to 16 gigabytes and whatever the, and the rest is uh, it's a mess uh, but yeah 
this, uh, this is the news that I have for now for hardware. Uh, regarding uh, gaming uh, news, uh, so, uh, I heard some ramblings that uh, for a games which are the Metro Studio um, guys, th they are going to attend the Gamescom to this year, so by the end of this month. Um, it is official because it came uh, on Gamescom website. Uh, they are next to uh, Frogwares and the Stalker to the uh, GSC Game World, um, the Stalker uh, developers here. Um, it seems that uh, we have might have some news regarding new Metro game. It was kind of announced uh, f a few years ago that uh, they were working on it. Um, we'll see how it goes. I played. I think I played the. F I know I played the first game. I'm not sure regarding the second one. Because it's been a few years now. I never played the Metro Exodus. It's one of those franchises that I want to try out. I have uh, all the versions uh, that I managed to claim in Epic Game Store for free. I managed to, to, to snack those uh, when they came out. Um, and of course, if anything uh, comes out again, I will let you know. Uh, but yeah. We might get some um, some information on that uh, m uh, sequel from Metro Exodus. Uh, it will be good to, to see anything because I think that the, the the franchise itself it tells the story of Artyom uh, and uh, the the post-apocalyptic stuff there. And I think it's uh, it's a pretty decent franchise. Uh, and it's a first-person shooter with some RPG-ish elements, with some survival mechanics and some. Um, um, not crafting um, uh, ammo conservation stuff there and uh, I, I think it's pretty good it's, it's different what we what we can call the call of duties there um, it tells a, a pretty decent story and it's based on the books uh, by the same name uh, Metro to 2033 Metro Light Last Light and everything um, also we got some news another um, tactical RPG uh, Dark Envoy I was not aware of this game but I, I caught this from Factor Life they are, uh, the game supposedly will come out this year and they managed to do um, a trailer with some uh, classes uh, and specializations uh, to introduction to those. Uh, seems pretty interesting, it's like a sci-fi um, uh, kind of a, a environment here. It's uh, got semi-open world uh, kind of stuff. I think you can do like real battle, real-time strategy or uh, time... St uh, uh, time strategy, oh my god, uh, turn-based, sorry, it's what I wanted to call it. Supposedly it's uh, similar to a certain extent, like XCOM stuff and Divinity, uh, it's inspired by that, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, seems interesting uh, from the trailers that I saw, uh, but I will keep you attempts on it uh, when it comes. I will leave a link on the Steam page if you want to wishlist it, I think it's got a demo there, if not mistaken, for you to try out if you want. Uh, but yeah, I will leave a, a link on the same page in the description. And uh, regarding on gaming deals, we'll still have Dead Space Remake from this year. It's 30% off. Uh, it's We don't have a lot of time here, around 30 hours or so. Um, I think it's, a, it's an improvement of the first one. I played the first one like four times, I think. Um, I really enjoyed the the, the, the setting, the, the 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 horror mechanics, uh, the, the, the how they, they they scare you, and uh, all the all that stuff. The the, the lore is very good. Here they, they explore uh, expand a little bit on how they uh, uncover the, the the lore and the story. Um, the zero g gravity, of course, is it's improved. I think you can transverse the uh, Ishimura uh, without any loading screen throughout zero g without the, the ability of using the trains, uh, tram uh, mechanic there. But I think you can also use the tram mechanic as uh, the first one. Uh, of course, uh, it will be uh, some challenge uh, similar to Metroidvania. So a lot of stuff might be locked until you get farther into to the story wise because some parts of the the things that you need to progress on the story to get access to certain areas uh, but more secondary quest there and and alternative routes uh, if not mistaken and of course the graphics are improved and the physics and all that stuff because the game is uh, quite a little bit old um, but yeah i think it's well worth it around one day or so after the the video is published uh, to get this uh, this game. Uh, also, I got oh my god, my laptop is not that good. Uh, Bioshock franchise, it's still up. Uh, the promo, 
uh, I think until 11th uh, so the remastered versions which is uh, the better versions uh, because there is the original ones uh, but the, the remastered versions plus Bioshock Infinite uh, they are basically 80% off uh, I will leave of course the links uh, of the of the these versions in the in the description so I think it, it's an excellent um, it's an excellent franchise to play and i think at least the first one you need you, you should play so you can see that there there is uh, a lot of inspiration on uh, afterwards uh, another fps's and even uh, like certain mechanics and how to tell the story uh, in other games after the the first one came out uh, also we got a little indie game which is oh my god sorry about this uh, papers please uh, this one is uh, almost 10 years now but it's one of those that it's a uh, little ones that you like you're basically on the immigration uh, border there and you just uh, check your papers if they, they correspond if there is no forgeries and everything it's one of those that it's uh, offers you a little bit low, low time uh, like two dollars for this game it's not it's it's nothing um and then they did like an engine update also uh, this year so i think it's uh, well worth the, the the thing here too it's one of those that it's uh, pretty good to to try out if you like this kind of games here uh, and lastly we got disco Elysium, the final cut this time on steam uh, the i think yesterday uh, i managed to bring up from joji uh, this this is the also the final cut for steam uh, it's 78% uh, or 75% depending on, on the version uh, the bundle uh, but the final cut is already has everything except for the soundtrack and art book even though they are pretty good uh, the soundtrack and the art book uh, till the 14th of august so 10 bucks i think it's a very interesting rpg on how uh, they tell the story and uh, the mechanics there your inner conscience how it works uh, it's pretty pretty interesting how they did they, they did this uh, and yeah it's very dystopian uh, but uh, i think it's very good from what i saw in terms of uh, the videos the in terms of gameplay here i think it's well worth it and i'm going to wrap up for today guys I'm sorry for the long rambling at the beginning, but uh, it's one of those things that uh, in the long term mind affects us as gamers. But I'm going to wrap up with Michael Gaff me. You know the thing, uh, better content for my private clients and start doing also some video stuff for them in, in my free spare time, doing everything that I've been doing, plus uh, resuming gameplay series, maybe some live streams and all that jazz. And with all that said, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, good night, my